What's up, folks? Welcome back to South Couture's. My name is Trevi, and today we're going to be talking about a big announcement for the Battlescribe list creation solution that a lot of people have used in the past for Warhammer 40k. Now, for those who don't know, Battlescribe is an army construction app that is fairly generic. It's meant for any variety of tabletop or miniature games, and while it has a heavy emphasis on Warhammer and Warhammer 40k, it's not actually affiliated with them in any way. In fact, the app itself hasn't really been updated in the last couple years. All of the Warhammer and 40k datasets are maintained by an independent team of volunteers, and there's been some drama about that. You can pay to unlock additional features, however, the app itself has not been updated in many years, and the developer, while retaining all of the profits from these subscriptions, is essentially AWOL. A couple months ago, the app was actually taken down from a lot of app stores due to the fact that it hadn't seen an update in a long time, and the developer came back, made a big speech about how they were going to continue to update the app, change the version number so it could be reinstated on app stores, and then disappeared once again. So for this reason, the Warhammer 40k data development team has just announced that they will be releasing an open source version of their data set. Explained in an announcement on their Discord just today, the team specified that the intention is that individual roster construction apps will all be able to read a single data set. So instead of creating bespoke sets for each individual app, they're going to continue to update one file and put the onus on roster construction apps or services to read that file so there's no longer beholden to a single roster creation engine. In the case of Battlescribe, while the new file may still work on Battlescribe for a little while, as long as Battlescribe continues to be unupdated and continues to have dead code, it will likely be rendered obsolete in the not too distant future, and the team encourages players to go look for other solutions elsewhere. The team discussed a variety of different list construction apps that will most likely be able to uh, be updated to use the new data set in the future. These include New Recruit, Battlescribe, War.Cards, and the Forces app, as well as Phalanx, all of which will support roster building in the not too distant future. There's also, of course, going to be the official Games Workshop Army Construction app. But given Games Workshop's failures with digital formats in the past, we can maybe expect that to be hit or miss. If it's good, then that'll be an additional alternative to add to the pile, but if it's bad, at least we're going to have this fallback to use. Now, while I couldn't find information on all of these army construction apps, it looks like there is going to be a wide variety available if and when Battlescribe moves out of date, and it's probably a safe bet to start to migrate your list construction to a new app as soon as this new file set is released. So on the whole, the Warhammer 40k data file team is basically separate themselves from Battlescribe officially. They're no longer going to be the Battlescribe 40k data developers. They're going to be a more open source independent organization. And this organization will theoretically be able to interface with multiple different army roster solutions. Battlescribe has been a staple of the Warhammer 40k community for years now, and this is a huge change for the community. But with the continuing lack of updates to Battlescribe and the fact that the service continues to seem outdated and difficult to use, I think it is a step in the right direction. So let me know down in the comment section what you think about this development and if you have a list building app that you prefer lined up. Remember to keep it classy folks and have happy wargaming.